<laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> oh, no. Sorry, guys. I've got a little bit of a face. Oh. Hello, little one. You are utterly gorgeous. Okay, so guys, in terms of our viewing policies and why we are watching these little ones with mom, it's something that we do very, very carefully. We're viewing them with the mother here, but for very limited period of time. Why then do we not look at leopard cubs at all before they're about two months old, and yet we are willing to watch these cubs with mom at this age? And they're probably... Um, is some debate between the various people, but a couple, probably about two or so weeks. And the answer to that is just in terms of the vulnerability of a female leopard versus a female lion. So the reason we don't view leopard cubs when they're very, very young is because they actually have more in the way that is a threat out there than the, than the lions do. Uh, the, the biggest threat while a mother is with her cubs to her cubs, the only thing that is a threat to her is a male, a male lion. Hyenas, she'd be able, I mean, unless it was a, a huge hyena clan, hyenas she would be able to defend the cubs from. And hyenas are very, very unlikely to attempt to attack a lioness with these little ones. And the rest of the lions in this area are all part of her family, they're all part of her pride. So the biggest threat to her is a male lion. We know that things are relatively stable with the lions of this area, and either way there would be nothing. We would not have any impact if a male lion did decide to come in here. A leopard situation is different because they are much more vulnerable than lionesses. And they also don't have the the additional assistance of the rest of the pride in terms of hunting and in terms of looking after their little ones. That's a different approach that we do.